Hey, Yogi, I'm Amanda. You're practicing with liminal space, and this bite-sized class is the perfect nighttime yoga routine for kids. So if you are also a parent or a guardian or a babysitter who is watching over these little yogis, uh, there is a part in here for you as well at the end. I would love if you could join. Um, you can take the whole class with your little yogi, whatever feels best for you. I do wanna let you know that at the end of practice, I'm gonna be using this pillow, which is to serve as your little yogi to guide you through the last few moments of our practice. So let's go ahead and get started. Stand up, little yogi. However many, maybe you're with your brother, your sister, your friend, but go ahead, stand up. Yoga is supposed to be fun. We do movement and then we come into stillness to find rewards. So stand up, bring your feet together. And we start with the magic yoga word, namaste. Say it with me, namaste. Reach your arms up above your head and get as tall as you possibly can. I know you can't see my arms, but they're almost reaching the ceiling. Root your feet down like you are a plant. Reach your arms up, look up like you're trying to grow up towards the sun. Take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, hands to your side. Do it again. Breathe in. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in, reach up. And exhale. Bend your knees. So you're going to pretend like you're sitting on a chair. Make sure all parts of your foot are rooted into the ground. You're still that plant that's growing up to the sun. But we're going to put our hands on our thighs. We're going to push our booty back like we're sitting down on a chair rather than falling forward, right? So sit down, give your thighs a couple smacks, nice little smacks. So just tap, 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 tap your thighs. Wake up, wake up. We've got yoga to do tonight. Three, two, one, push into your feet, stand up, sweep your arms up, and then really slowly start to wilt like a flower. Come all the way down, let your head come down, let your arms hang really heavy. Take your feet apart a little bit more so you don't fall over, and then just sway. Let your arms kind of just sway side to side. You can bend your knees. Big breath in, guys. Bigger breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Now bend your knees, slowly grow back up to the tall plant that you are. March your feet out when you get to standing. March, march, move your arms too. Like you've got places to go. Walk it out, march it out. Maybe you have a lot of energy and you wanna run. So move your energy, move it, move it, move it. Keep going, get your knees a little higher. Maybe you're going faster than me. Maybe your mat is all messed up under each of you. Maybe you don't have a mat at all. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to be trees. We're going to actually become trees. So this yoga pose is called tree pose. And what you do is you put your feet together. You're going to root down one of your feet, pick your other foot up, turn your knee out, and bring it to your calf. So foot against the calf, and maybe your balance is kind of all over the place and you're falling over. But the cool thing about yoga is that even if you fall over and fall out of the pose, you can come right back to being a tree when you're ready. So because we're a tree and we're a new tree, we have to root ourselves down. So take your hands like you're pushing the dirt down around your foot. Press it down. Start to feel like you're really firmly rooted into your foot. Maybe take your arms out, move them a little, see if you can still remain balanced. Again, if you fall, just come right back. Super simple. Take a big breath in and release your tree. Got to do it on the other side. So other foot plugs into the ground. We bring that other foot up and maybe our balance isn't so good on this side. We're going to try. We're going to keep trying, right? Nobody's perfect not even little trees. So find yourself balanced. Use the muscles in your torso. Use your leg muscles to help you. And then start thinking about rooting yourself down. So push the dirt down around your foot, planting it. You can water it if you want to. 
root it down. Good, now take your arms like out like branches, like you're blowing in the wind. Maybe there's a really big breeze. Just let yourself blow around, try not to fall over. And if you fall, come right back. Keep blowing in the wind, take a big breath here. And then step your tree, both roots back into the ground. So we're gonna do a little shaking. We just moved through a lot of wind. Now we're moving through a bigger wind tunnel. So we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna shake the arms. Ha, ha, ha. Make a little noise. Chew, chew, chew. Let yourself get a little weird because it's fun. Go side to side. Do a little dance. Move your energy. Come on, little yogi, keep going. And then walk your feet together back to your little march and stand tall like a soldier. From our soldier, we're gonna go into a warrior. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step one foot forward, step one foot back as far as we can without falling over, and then we're gonna bend our knees. Reach our arms tall. So maybe this is your warrior. Maybe this is the warrior that you wanna be. If you wanna take up more space and be a bigger warrior, turn that left or turn your one foot forward your other foot this direction. So this toe going this way, these toes pointing this way, and then bring your hands to your hips. Now you're a warrior. Breathe deep through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Straighten your legs, reach up. Back to warrior, maybe add those tree branches, nice and firm. Look over your front hand, hold it here, three, two, one, come back up, bring your legs together. We got to do it on the other side, right? So other direction, the other foot steps forward, the other foot steps backward, and we make sure that we can balance without falling over, right? So maybe we just want to drop the knee down. If you're super tired, you can put your knee on the ground and reach up. This is still a warrior. Okay, so you can stay here or you can take up more space, get your legs really wide and drop into your big warrior pose. Reach out those really strong tree branches and then bring everything up, bring it back down. Hold it here, warrior. Three, two, one. Come back up, bring your feet back together. Do a couple bounces, get your energy out. And then we are going to sit down on our bottoms. So we're going to start by bringing the bottoms of our feet together and putting them down on the ground. Let your knees come out wide. And then just go ahead and brush off your legs. Like you've got something on your pants, something on your legs. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Good. Now, hands come to the feet. And you're gonna look down at your feet. You know how you read a book and you crack it open? We're gonna, without cracking, we're gonna open the feet up so we can look at the bottoms of our feet like we're reading a book. So take a look at your feet. What do you see? Maybe you wanna wiggle your toes a little bit. Maybe you wanna open the feet a little further. Maybe you wanna even rub your feet. Maybe you've been playing a lot of games and your feet are tired. So just open your feet like a book. And then inhale, sit up, look up. Exhale, look back down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. One more time, guys. Breathe in, look up. And exhale, look down. Great job, sit back up. Now, can you take your legs a little bit wider? Yeah, you don't have to be as wide as the world. You can be here, that's fine. But bring your legs out in front of you. Not here, but here. And then we're gonna reach our arms forward, reach to one foot, reach to the other. Like you're a seesaw on a playground. Going side to side, letting your whole body move. So this whole body, part of your body, your torso, is just tick-tocking side to side, seesawing to the right foot, to the left foot, to the right foot. Keep going. One more time on the right, one more time on the left. You got it. And then Bring it all together, pull it in, really tight, 
wrap your arms around your legs and give yourself a big hug. Just squeeze yourself, squeeze your legs, big breath in. Exhale it out. You are amazing. We're gonna take it to the ground now. So what you're gonna do is hold onto your thighs and as slow as you can, roll yourself down all the way to your head. Once again, pull your knees in, wrap your arms around, pick your head up, give yourself another hug, maybe rock and roll a little bit side to side, like a little ball on the ground. Just rolling side to side, letting your whole body enjoy the ground beneath you. Great job. Both of your feet are gonna come up into the air. Your legs don't have to be straight. Your arms are gonna come up too. And we're gonna get out any remaining wiggles before bedtime. So shake out your feet, shake out your hands, make a funny face, smile really big. Breathe in, Yogi. Breathe out, keep moving, keep shaking. Get that energy out. You're doing awesome. Run, 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 run. Like your little doggy on the floor crawling upside down. Go, 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 Yogi. Three, two, one. And slowly, carefully, let yourself drop back down to the mat, to the floor. Stretch your legs out long. Reach your arms over your head like you're trying to grow through your fingers and your toes. Take a breath with me, please. And exhale. <sighs> Bring your sweet little hands over the top of your big heart. Let your elbows relax. And if that doesn't feel good, you can just bring your hands down beside you. Go ahead and close your eyes. So we have a little surprise here at the end, but you have to keep your eyes closed and you have to keep breathing. So mom and dad, babysitter, whoever is there with your little yogi, you get to give them a surprise. So mom and dad, come behind your little yogi. Now little yogi, listen up. If we're still, if we're quiet, if we continue to just breathe in and out, whoever's there with you is going to help tuck you in. Even though you're not in bed, we're pretending. So with your eyes closed, I know that it's hard to keep them closed. I want you to come up with one thing and you don't have to tell anybody one thing that happened today that made you really super happy. It made you smile really big. It made you feel really good. Now I want you to think about that one thing. Hold it in your mind for as long as you can for these next couple of minutes. And just breathe good thoughts. And if our little yogis are still, yogi caregiver, you're gonna come over behind them. You're gonna press their shoulders down. Gently press the shoulders down. Press the shoulders down, wipe the arms. Press the shoulders very lightly, wipe the arms. And if you have more than one little yogi, Go do the same thing to the other one. So the more still, the more quiet that you are, little yogi, maybe you'll get a little massage. Maybe you'll get a little head massage. The eyebrows, the cheeks. Gently, lightly with the fingers. Just softening the face of your little yogi. Very lightly, very gentle. Maybe a little head massage. And 
just breathing in and you're just breathing out. It was such a beautiful day. You got to run and play and do fun things and eat yummy food. And you got to grow into a tree and become a warrior. What a beautiful day. And so we sit here, we lay here quietly, enjoying the day that is behind us, enjoying the loving touch of our moms, dads, aunts, uncles, babysitters. And we just breathe. And that's all you have to do. Breathing in. 